This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Krista Dales Donnelly with me. Thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. You are the co-chair along with Shelley Bradley with the Old Home Week 2025. We are. What do we say, 13 months? 13 months until we get there. And you know, it's going to be here sooner than later too, you know? It is. It, it's, a, it's amazing what goes into organizing one of these events. We've been at it for a year this month. Our committee, um, including subcommittees, is around 17 people, and we have about 13 months to go, so it's really starting to um, build, and people will start to see things. We have our events calendar on our website now at oldhomeweek.com, and that's the bare bones right now, and then this is where the community can come in and, and start telling us what they want to do, and um, anything, you know, from sports events to reunions, all those kinds of things we want to hear from people. And, and groups are contacting us now about what they want to do during the eight days. Um, so we'll fill that in as we go. Um, but start by looking at what's there for staple events from us, and then the community can tell us what else they, they can do as well. Okay, all right. And like, this is actually 100 years in the making. This is the 100th anniversary. It is. This is the fifth Old Home Week. It started in 1925, so it's 100 years in 2025, and we're going to honour that with some of the events, and there'll be historical events, and we hope our parade will reflect that, our parades, there'll be three parades, and we're hoping, you know, people will open their businesses, uh, maybe we'll do open doors uh, at the time for people to see some of our architecture and our old homes, and we'll be celebrating businesses um, that have been in our community for that long. Um, so lots to do to honor our history. And, and many of us have been around for past uh, old home weeks too and we had such a good time so we're looking forward to this too. So when you say you know you want some community involvement, people giving you suggestions of things we've done in the past, maybe new things, is that the sort of thing? Yes, every, we've gone out and spoken to many businesses, groups, service You're clubs, at the Rotary Club. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, not for profits, so people have lots of advan advance notice to prepare fundraisers, to prepare their business. Um, you know what the crowds are like during Old Home Week, mm -hmm. it's significant, and lots of people haven't seen it before, so it is very significant. Preparing um, with volunteer recruitment. Um, and there may be events that groups want to have and that they've seen before or have new ideas. Um, we have staple events, the committee has staple events, and then the community will fill in um, with their events. Okay. So it could be anything from a school class reunion, barbecue, a sporting event, it could be a pet event. If people want to put something together and they do it under our banner, we'll support them and promote it and do as much as we can to make it successful by bringing people to town. Wonderful, wonderful. And, and you're sending out these, uh, well, you want people to send these out because a lot of people will, will make this their, their time to come home for the holidays. We just heard that the other day. You and I were together at an event the other day and someone said to me that their family was supposed to go out west next year and they've decided they're going to come here next year. Wonderful. Um, we've heard some of the hotels have had um, requests for rooms. Already. Which is even too early because most hotels don't book for a year but they've had requests. The postcards are available all around town. We did those in 2000 and we're doing them again in, 20, in 2024 for 2025. They're very popular and there will be a digital um, uh, postcard for people who don't use the mail system and they're good souvenirs as well. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Now I got this one in the mail but you, you say that we can pick them up yes. different places. They're at different like places, um, Town Hall, uh, the Welcome Center and some other places around town and we'll probably have them at businesses and things over the next months too. And you've got some good support already too. I've seen, I've seen some people good donations coming in. We did. We have uh, Rito Lumber came on board and so generous and a family with such deep roots in the community that have participated oh, yes. in at least two or three um, old home weeks. So we're really glad to be partnering with uh, Scott Fleming and his family and his business partners. So we look forward to doing things with that money and we have other people that have come on board too. Guildline came on board with us and um, Hyundai came on board with us. So uh, we continue to pursue partnerships. We hope people, businesses uh, will invest in the community. We also have our fundraisers. We're doing the playing cards again that we did in 2000. So we're reaching out to Wonderful. people, uh, uh, families and businesses with deep roots um, that want to honor their business or their family, uh, ambassadors, people who have left Smith's Falls and taken a piece with them. Um, artists, uh, sports teams, all kinds of people. So you can reach us at info 
at oldhomeweek.com and our fundraising committee can and speak to you about that and, and through our website at uh, oldhomeweek.com. That's a great, I, I've got a couple of those decks of cards too and that's actually, you, you have to have 52 plus I think I, I've got uh, two jokers as well too. Yeah. One is Sparky and one is Mr. Rightly. Actually, I, 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 we play my brother, my, my brother, my grandson and I play cards all the time with these. So And, yeah. and they um, are mentioned every time we talk about yes. Old Home Week. So it's the cards, it's different things that people remember. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to honor that and do that again. And you know what I really like is seeing the old pictures of the old, old Home Weeks. Those are amazing, some of the street dances and some of the, you know, the where the tradition exactly yeah. where the tradition started in 1925 they had street dances they were late at night like they seem to be yes. at 10 or 11 at night but uh, the night shirt parade is is consistent through all yes. of the um, it was called something different but through all of the old home weeks that's another big one that we want to have we mm -hmm. will have in some form or another um, and it will depend on the community involvement community come to us and say we'll put on the uh, we will put on the parade and then the community will uh, participate in it right. same as the main parade which is usually huge and um, that will be on the Saturday the second I, I checked the calendar at oldhomeweek.com because I, the dates are the second to the ninth um, so the more the community participates and the more people bring home and the more people we partner with financially, the more successful it will be. And, and I, I'm hearing you saying you can use um, volunteers, you can use some you know, advice from the community, some input. Absolutely. How do people get a hold of you and, and where is the need? Where would you like to see people well, help out right now? Uh, we have uh, room on our committees mm -hmm. for sure and our committees will change as we evolve. Um, you know, we'll start talking about the parade, we'll start talking about merchandise, we'll ta start talking about concessions and events in that organization. So we're always needing people on our subcommittees who will um, not necessarily have to go to meetings, you know, every two weeks or anything, but who can gather information, do research, um, schedule things, reach out to people, that sort of thing. Um, we will need people the week of, of course, mm -hmm. week leading to the week of and the week after. Uh, we have incredible support from the town, but this will happen because of volunteers. Um, so people wanting to do that, the, on our website at oldhomeweek.com, there's lots of pages, and particularly for volunteers to tell us what they want to do. Okay, now I, you and, and Shelley have been very busy too, going to, like you were at the Rotary Club recently too, and you're going to speak to at different locations and everything like that too. You're open to doing that? Doing Absolutely. That? Yes. We've gone to schools, we've gone to social agencies, we've gone to businesses, we've gone to service groups, uh, we've been here a, for a second time. We'll do more uh, expansive um, marketing as we go forward with media. Um, we're open to do anything. We say we'd, we'll go and do our little song and dance to partners, um, any, anybody who wants to find out more that don't know or that want to get involved in some way. And if anybody has participated or, or attended an event a past Old Home Week, you know how important this is to us. Oh, you know? absolutely. So we and thank certainly you for doing this. previous volunteers and people who are involved in the committee, we're trying to reach out to so we can bring them to with their expertise and to honor them, the previous committee members wonderful, as well. Wonderful, wonderful. So, once again, how do people get a hold of you? I know Katie gets back to us pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> at info at oldhomeweek.com and our website is oldhomeweek.com. Excellent, excellent. It's like we say, 13 months away, but it's going to oh. be here sooner than, than we know it. And we look forward to it. So thank you for very, mu very much for doing this, you and your committee. So thank you for having us. It. Old Home Week 2025. We've got August 2nd to the 9th. And it's going to be here sooner than we know it. Thanks for joining us, Krista. Thanks, Kathy.